So in this video, I'm going to show you five products that are super high in demand, five products that people are currently and actively buying right this second. Each five of these products have brilliant profit margins to making them easier to sell. Each of these products is in a different niche as well. So hopefully I've found something for everybody. And each of these products are traditional dropshipping products, I would call them. What I mean by that is they are very straightforward to get started with. They're not massive and large in weight or size. They're small, they're compact, they're decent quality that have a real purpose and make somebody's life genuinely better, making them brilliant products and brilliant options for yourself. If you are a complete beginner watching this video still yet to find that very first winning product that takes off for you, then in this video, I've got five great options. Kicking it off with the very first product is this reflective raincoat for a dog. It wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't feature a dog product. The dog niche, if you are familiar with my channel, is very close to my own heart. It was where I first kind of dipped my toes into the dropshipping space and it's where I found my very first winning product also. The reason why this product has to feature in this video, number one, then let's talk numbers, let's talk data. Data can't be argued with, it's very black and white. What we can see here, dog raincoat in the United Kingdom for the past five years, it is currently on a breakout spike in demand purely and probably and most likely down to what the weather has been like recently. If you want to get a bit more specific and hone in on truly where the most demand is for this product, at least in the United Kingdom, we can see that Wales is where most of the attention or where most of the search volume is coming from for this particular product. If there's one thing you can rely on in the UK, it's bad weather, it's the rainy weather. However, as a dropshipper, this only plays into our hands because with bad, wet, rainy weather comes predictability from a consumer standpoint of view. People are looking and actively looking to buy one of these products, a raincoat for their dog to keep them dry on those winter dog walks. This also combines a separate element, which again is current and relevant to the current time of year, which is walking your dog in the dark. It's difficult to see your dog. There's that safety risk, especially if you're walking alongside a busy main road. And this particular product solves both of these issues. So number one, it keeps your dog somewhat warm, but the biggest benefit here is it'll keep your dog dry and it also keeps your dog in sight as well. It's made from that material, as you can see in this image here, when, when a headlight of a car hits the material, it reflects the light highlighting the dog in the dark for everybody to see easily in sight, keeping the dog safe. So should it get off leash and it's running wild or should you be walking along the main road, um, everybody can see the dog and keep it safe. Where I think the biggest opportunity comes from for this product based on experiences is the larger dog breeds with the longer hair. The larger the dog, the more of the dog that can get wet, the harder it is to dry. And the same thing for the longer hair. So think of those dog breeds. Facebook is brilliant for this because you can target specific dog breeds. So think of those breeds that are larger in size and have the larger dog hair where products like this is going to solve those even bigger pain points for owners of those types of breeds. You can source these products for in and around sort of six or seven pounds. It's definitely a product somebody would pay 30 pounds for. I actually have a similar variation to this product that I paid 60 pounds for because one of the at least from my own perspective, as somebody who has a long haired German Shepherd, I hate having to dry him. It is such a faff and it makes such a mess that whenever possible, I try and get my wife to do it. So by having a product like this, it's worth, trust me, it's worth every single penny and one that is almost guaranteed to sell this winter season. Before we go any further, I want to take 20 seconds of your time, maybe 30 seconds of your time to invite you to grab yourself a copy of this. It's 100% free. There's no BS guaranteed. You input your name, you input your email address, and within two minutes, you'll have a free download PDF of 127 vetted winning products ideas that are working right now. This is a list I've put together myself of 127 vetted winning products ideas that will sell all year round. This will literally eliminate the need for any product research for the next 12 months. If you want to get yourself a copy of this, check out the top link in the video description below. Input your name, input your email address. Two minutes later, you'll have this exact list in front of you. With that being said, let's go back into product number two. Okay, so we've just been through the Christmas period. Children across the nation, children across the globe have opened their toys. They have tons of toys without anywhere to keep them. Parents' houses are a mess. Great old parents' houses are a mess. They need 
toy storage. So one product that I found that helps fix this issue is this out of the ordinary storage box that is shaped like a dinosaur head. What's really cool about this product is their mouth opens up and you store the toys inside. It's kind of like a fun, quirky version of a traditional toy storage box. And that's the key takeaway here. I'm showing you product ideas, but it's not the exact product idea you have to take from this video. It's the niche, the toy storage niche. So have a look on AliExpress, contact your agent, have a look on other platforms, go and drop us by Minia, whatever your go-to kind of software is for finding those product ideas. See what's about inside the toy storage niche. Me personally, I like this because it's playful, it's fun, and it's different to anything else out there, but you may think differently. The key here is the toy storage. We have just gone past Christmas, children have opened their toys, they have lots and lots of different dinosaurs like this, or lots and lots of different toy cars, or lots and lots of moving pieces. Parents and grandparents will be looking for toy storage solutions, and this is again backed up in the data. With January 2024, the month where you are currently watching this video, toy storage being the most popular searched it has ever been since 2004 in the last 20 years so do not ignore this niche across to product number three we have plush duvets again this is united kingdom past five years plush duvet is on a breakout probably because we're about to experience the coldest year or two we have experienced for a very very long time it's the time of year where people are typically staying inside more because it is so cold outside they're wearing or they're wearing certain things to keep them warm and they're changing their bed linen, their bed duvets, their covers to keep them warmer and feel more cozy and more comfortable. Plush duvets, as we can just see, as we've just seen, is currently on breakout. People are looking for these things. So make sure you pick something that matches that description and fits your particular budget. Things like this, this high end, really thick, kind of like corded plush bedding. People absolutely love this sort of thing. Um, I featured on the channel recently these socks that come up to like your thighs, really long plush socks that were doing really well. They were a proven six figure product. And this kind of goes hand in hand with that. People are spending much more time in bed this time of year because it's darker for longer. It's cold outside. This is the time of year where people are gonna be investing in these kind of super soft, really kind of thick over the top duvet covers. This one here in particular is very out of the ordinary it's not the typical kind of duvet cover you would see in any kind of department store so this is the sort of thing that is most likely to get attention on social media stay away from the generic typical duvet covers that anybody can go to any store in the UK and buy go for something that they will never have seen before get some UGC content to help sell it and stick it on TikTok stick it on Facebook stick it on social media and you'll be on to a winner Moving into the fourth product or the fourth niche is heated slippers. The key with this, because heated slippers has obviously been around for a long time and they're obviously super popular this time of year with it being winter, with it being cold. We can see they've just spiked in popularity. So it's a month where people are looking to buy this exact thing. This is a version variation I found on AliExpress, but again, as I mentioned with the toy storage, the key here is the heated slipper element, not the exact product I'm showing you, although this is a great option. Perhaps there's an opportunity to be had here to build a niche, a branded niche store selling just heated slippers or perhaps heated clothing in general, because at this point you can get heated gloves, you can get heated vests, you can get heated jackets, heated coats, heated gilets. There is so many different options for heated clothing out there that perhaps if you want to try and take advantage of the winter period as much as possible that's a niche that speaks to you it's a niche um, that gets your interest moving on to the final product and i was a bit iffy about putting this product in there but when you look at the numbers then it has to be in there because this is the orders trends chart for this particular product we can see it's been on a slow and steady and gradual increase showing a consistently increasing demand for the product which is the great signs of a winning product it has low competition meaning the product is not oversaturated in the market, has a good amount of orders on AliExpress, so over 2,000 orders, so it's kind of like a tried and tested product. Um, there's no denying that people have a demand for this particular product. The only thing that kind of lets it down is the tight profit margin. However, there's lots and lots of different ways around that. The profit margin they give is about $12, which is totally fine because you can bump this up by an extra $10 just by coupling it with a different product, with a bundle offer, with an upsell or cross-sell offer, with premium shipping. There's, there's loads and loads of other ways in which you can bump up that average order value and the product I want to show you then is this it's a pillow stand for your iPad Now, the reason why I was in two minds about putting this in is because me personally I don't have any sort of requirement for this product 
I'm not a big iPad user or tablet user. I don't watch any particular TV in bed. However, I know of a lot of friends and family that do, that are forever trying to stand it against a pillow or having to hold it in their hands and their hands get tired. They need somewhere to also keep their phone. You can see the handy little pocket on the side. So there genuinely is a use case for this product. And I think this coupled with a really kind of slick UGC piece of content, um, I think you could be onto a really strong winner here um, across the social media platforms. Before you go, if you're looking for a mentorship, then I want to make you aware of my mentorship program. We currently have just two spaces left. I only take on a maximum of five people every single month due to the level of time I put into helping each person build their business. The reason I'm giving you this message and giving you this invitation at the end of the video is because I only want to work with people who are serious and genuinely dedicated to building a a, a real dropshipping business, a real business that is registered and brings in an income and can change your life for the better. The fact you've watched this video till the end indicates that you are one of those people, which is why I want to send you this invitation. If you like the idea of working with me on a one-to-one -one basis and for me to help kind of hold your hand through the process, help you take a product similar to the five that I've shown you in this video, build a Shopify store, build ad creatives and help scale it to over in excess of £10,000 per month, then what you need to do is book in a call to have a chat with me. You won't be offloaded onto some pushy sales guy. It'll be me you will be talking with. I want to personally meet you and get to know you and see if you'd be a good fit for the mentorship. To do this, what you need to do is below this video, hit this more button to expand out the video description. At the bottom, you'll see this, a secret link. If you click that secret link, it's going to take you to an application process. It's basically five or six super quick questions. It takes two minutes to answer. As you can see, over 153 people have been through this recently. And basically, all it does is ask you a few different things about your current level of experience and where you want to be in the next one to two to three months time. That will tell me what it is you're kind of looking for in terms of a mentorship. And then that will tell me whether I'll actually be able to help you or not. If I can, I'll invite you to book a time um, in my calendar. I've put some time to the side where we can jump on a Google Meet and we can jump on the call. We can have a chat or we'll get to know each other and see if we'd be a good fit for each other. If that sounds good to you. Make sure you head over there now, um, book in your call today. And I look forward to speaking with you. Thanks.